the strings are anchored inside here. You barely see it. There's a little bar at the end of each string that keeps it in place. So after I unwind the strings, I need to pull them out through these holes here. And I need to pull them through these holes and out underneath here. So let's open her up again and start unwinding. I'm hoping it'll be easier to take the strings out this way than it is when they break. When the string breaks, you end up with a mess inside. A, big, a nice knotted mess of metal wire with another wire wrapped around it, two layers of silk, and another layer of, well, a layer of nylon or plastic around it. These are very similar to guitar strings both in how you put them on the nuts here, how you, get, how you wind them up and unwind them. Unfortunately, the, there is not much space in the compartment here, so can't use a winder. Yeah. That came out nice and easy. string. Looking inside, it appears these actually really are bolts. As I unwound that first string, the shaft here came out probably looks like a good inch. Also explains the nice bit of tension on these. Often requires me to use uh, two hands and one or two feet to hold the instrument down while I tighten or loosen some of these nuts.
there's the next one. And we'll loosen the first nut so that it's about the same distance out as the others. It's one of those strings that broke. These are much easier to loosen now that there's no tension on them. Uh, for the nails I showed you earlier, they are traditionally taped to the, to the underside of the finger. So they're not taped on top of your fingernails, but underneath, underneath the finger itself. They're traditionally made out of tortoise shell or bone. Now, tortoise shell is very difficult to come by, and it's expensive. So most of the uh, nails you can you've, most nails you can find to buy are made out of plastic. I've heard you can make customized nails for your for, for your particular fingers and even modify guitar picks to make your, your Ugen nails. Also play the Gujen with just your regular fingernails. Make sure you keep your fingernails a little bit on the long side. And there's it's always a danger if you cut your fingernails too short, or if you chip a fingernail, you won't be able to play that way for a while. 
and it definitely feels different playing w with the uh, gen nails and your fingernails. You know, when I play with my, fi my fingernails, I generally touch the string with the tip of my finger and then, then pull my finger in to pluck the string. And playing with the Gugen nails, I never actually touch the string unless I'm trying to change the note, either raising or lowering it. So to me, it feels like I'm not, not part of the music so much. But when I play with my regular fingernails, I feel like I'm part of the music. I'm touching the instrument, I'm touching the strings. I can feel the strings vibrate. Of course, the, one of the problems with being, well, feeling a part of the music, is it's easy to get lost and, and losing your place where you, oh, where you are in the song. For the videos I've made so far, I've noticed uh, the songs that, pe that people really like are the ones where I've had to take the most takes because uh, I keep getting lost playing them. Yeah. I'm about a third of the way through, if you include the string that broke, or one of the strings that broke. One more. 